we add the features with the our vector layer, vector, vector, vector geometry, and then uh, necessary styling, and then necessary image for the visualization for then returning the point features at the end of the so that means it's collecting the geometry and then additional feature information for styling and graphs information or other attributed information for this case so we got the idea as well how can you start writing the javascript library and then and then how can you start the different functionalities maybe this this class the javascript library has two or more functionalities maybe five or six functions you need to write down just and integrate those functionalities for what I can hear. <coughs> so this is okay. Let's let's so that means you see the the all the base layers calling. So we have the all the, the base layer definition and this is our dynamic link layer. So we uh, dynamic point layer we are to talk about this one uh, dynamic dynamic station point layers dynamic station point layer that's this here the station dynamic station point layer dynamics very simple functions dynamic station point layers is latitude longitude and transform the coordinate points let long and then this is this test station link test so it has a has a coordinate points the pixel points and passive the coordinate points and here you see the coordinate point latitude longitude for the dynamic station layers points so two points and then it's a link point created and that's the vectors and the link layer this dynamic station layers that here we, we build this the different functions so a dynamic point layers dynamic point layers the, the here's the basic function so it has a starting points the link means it has the starting points and this has end points that i mean here the starting points and end points and it has vectors the link is the edit and the same function is called because this is the, the professional way that i said you write the functions you don't need anything to write down anymore this one just you need to pass the parameters that's all that's i mean so this is the parameter you see the parameters like it has a latitude longitude parameter and then you pass the latitude longitude what you need and this is the professional way to program it just best practices here is really best practices so you write to really segregate the U logic into the you implement the own functions and call the functions with the necessary parameter and that's all. That means your code is really clean and professional and flexible. Someone can really come up really really quickly. You you source code and it is professionally done. It is it is really professionally done. And then here's a link layer that I already explained. So it's a link layer that's here is using the dynamic link layer somewhere. <clears throat> and this is see the points in the this the, the thing is calling and here the the link because if you have a multiple links like from the link from here to here so you see the multiple links <clears throat> for this case you have a multiple link maybe this this is the this station now this station and this is one links and this station this is links and this station to this links and this i mean the multiple link layer so you write down the link uh, functions uh, uh, link this is the link station link layer so it has a has a start points the latitude longitude for start and this latitude for the end for end points so we have passed the latitude longitude very beginning points and it's transform it and then you pass also the second points latitude longitude end points and use line string you see the very efficient the coordinate from the from the from the very very start points uh, start points and coordinate point and points so even though you can inject the station call uh, station functions in here also so that means you don't need to write down again this this part of the code it is it is already written here but here i written down here again so you can also the customize this part of the code to change that to call these functions and build the two points so this is the starting points you need latitude longitude and this is the end points uh, uh, if they start the latitude longitude and then after that you just click 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 the new open layer geometry line string so it's at the end and coordinates points start coordinates points and coordinates points and then you have put it here the your your styles or your colors and then you have the the width the styling you can change it what you like to do but it is default style and then you have the features like you pass the features that's we have it in the here the final link features 
and color is yellow, maybe you can put it red or whatever it is, what is the requirement is it is. And you style and pass the UV style that's inherited. The open layers, features, vector styles, and the returning the U links. End of the day is returning the U links with the U geometry that's you pass it here, the you know, geometry, and then the the styles that you need to to style it, different colors and then different things together. So let's let's go there again. <laughs> so if point definition, we push down, we define our points. So what we write down here, customize you know, JavaScript library or JavaScript functions. We pass the latitude, longitude. We have a features, and it says our own own styling. That's what I mean here. So this definition. And those features we can features and point features the list of point features that we'll define in the in the in the in the next previous one and push it like. Push means that in JavaScript functions you can add the list into the list, and points feature one, two, three, whatever you need to do. This is like start station points and station points, and add to the features. These points need to be added to features. You see the really this line of code. So you have a point station layers, and then you have the points, the, the add features, and then you pass the points that you had defined here. So you code geometry, push it into the geometry features and add to the geometry features and this is the the map controls of the of the of the layers the all default control of the maps you can see the all control you have the default navigation zoom in zoom out control and so on and so forth this is the control of the maps so just here the i i will continue the further development just here i need to recap again what I have it and I will continue the further development in the next weeks or next next days. So you need to independently write down your your, your own own functions like your JavaScript functions and then for the point creation for the point point geometry point geometry creation line geometry creation even though polygon geometry creations and then all the function need to be inject to the your main JavaScript library functions and put it and build you you all the functionalities after that when you have the, the, all the functionalities there then you need to be finally write down inject the, all the dependencies here the other dependencies you see the our this dependency you see the our dynamic station layer functionalities that means when when the javascript when the browser load the this html page then it read the, all the all the javascript functions that you have in the project directory that means in the in the directory that you have it here all the javascript libraries call it and build the functionality that you need to do so here i see the all the style layer so i will continue the development you can follow the development what i mean how it works and then i will continue so this is the call of the the main function which is, is the graph libraries functionality that's that's now today i, I look like say goodbye and I will continue the further development, every features, the event functions that I, you need to do, <coughs> map event functions, and then you can map event functions, and then zoom in, zoom out functionalities. I will talk a little bit more how can this default features and the printing functionalities and different overlay of functionality with the next screencast. Just follow the screencast. I will continue. Just subscribe the channel, share your ideas, and. Uh, with friends and integrate those ideas into your developments and let's say now i say bye bye goodbye see you later see you bye bye